Today we are gonna talk about boob jobs. I go between, it's fine, I can live with it, it's not that bad, to the complete other side of it, like I spent nine grand to ruin my body. Now, I have considered getting breast implants for a long time, but I haven't actually gotten one. That's my actual boob size. So, let's be honest with each other, I do not have breast implants. But I've considered them so many times, and I actually got a consult a few years ago, and I decided not to do it. I am currently doing my first step in getting my implants and that is doing virtual consults and submitting the photos. So I'm literally on my computer right here with the applications, some photos I just sent from my phone and you're not going to see the close-ups of those. I'm submitting photos for a consult near me. It probably won't happen because most likely the areas near me are really expensive. So far I've been quoted from one place near me and it was $12,500. And I was like, heck! No, another place was 9,500, which I haven't even done a consult. They just had it on their website. I have like a whole Excel sheet with like doctor, location, price range. Did I do a consult? I'm gonna apply to a bunch of them and possibly, I don't know if it's humanly possible, I leave for vacation in a little bit more than a month, like a couple days. It is October 14th. I leave November 16th for vacation. And I'm wondering if it's at all humanly possible to get a consult and do the surgery before I leave for vacation. I, I really don't know if it's possible. I know that's a really short time frame and most people would want to spread it out more, but I'm one of those people that if I try to spread it out more, it just doesn't happen. Like, I just like to do things in a short period of time, get it all done over with. In less than a half an hour or about a half an hour, I have my first consult for my implants in a long time. I think I told you guys probably at some point in this video or previous one, I'm not sure what part this is, but either way, I have had a consult before when I was 19, 20, and I decided not to go through with it because you have to wait until you're 22 to get silicone instead of saline. Saline, you can do at 18, but now I am 24, definitely over 22. Ooh, I'm getting old. They quoted me at $9,000, which honestly didn't hurt that much. Because of that $12,500 quote I got, $9,000 doesn't hurt as much, but $9,000 is still pretty high. I don't know. I think I am going to, like I said, do one more consult, but I have to do it soon. So unless they can see me soon, 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 soon for a consult, I might just go with this guy because $9,000 is actually pretty reasonable for my area. I am off to my console right now, and this is the last one. It's gonna be a long appointment of figuring out sizes, figuring out where my incision goes. So anytime we do a breast augmentation, any of these symmetries may become magnified, okay? okay? So I'm just gonna go through and see, tell you what I see. Mm -hmm. um, so on this side, a little bit of the chest comes out a little bit further, okay? Um, when you put an implant under that, that can, I can, be, can notice it more? Exactly, that can be a little bit magnified. This nipple is a little bit wider than that nipple, okay? So when we put an implant under it, that one's gonna look even bigger than this one, okay? It's just, it's gonna magnify that difference. And I'm guessing it'll also magnify like my scars? It may, a little bit. Okay. It may, not to a dramatic extent. I just like to point these things out because especially afterwards, you're gonna be looking in the mirror way more than ever before, okay? <laughs> Essentially, we're gonna highlight your anatomy, not give you new anatomy, okay? okay? And so those things will persist. Okay, fun part. Ooh, <laughs> sexy bra. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the smaller. Okay. And graduate up. Graduate so I'm going to start with a 250 and we're going to go up to 350. Okay. Okay. The point goes to the top and what you're going to do is you're going to kind of lift your own breast tissue and stick it in there. What breast tissue? <laughs> 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 we get some. Okay. So like that? Yep. And then the same thing with this side. Okay. This is so weird. Mm -hmm. so that was very trippy to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what's actually going in my body. It is fun to play with. Oh, look at my hands through there. It's very fun. <laughs> my roommate requested the biggest ones for me to try on. <laughs> so this one is 650 cc's and the one I currently have in, which I feel like it's gonna look funny as heck. This is the current one I have in. 
Bye bye. This one is 305 cc's. It's the one we're probably going to be going with. But we're probably going with a very large one. Look at the difference. That's insane. We are having way too much fun. I'm probably going to look at the more realistic ones a little bit more and head out of here because, again, we're having too much fun. Welcome to my new friends. The total is $55.26. All my paperwork and all my stuff I'm picking up. It is officially zero days until implants. I did a countdown on TikTok. Maybe I'll include the footage, maybe I won't. But either way, it is the morning of. I have literally like a couple minutes till I'm gonna go downstairs to my ride there in the car. And I don't know how I feel at this point. At this point, I just need to get in there and get it done. I feel like I look a little bit crazy, but not as crazy as I thought I would look. Though, oddly enough, like, talking is more tiring than I thought it was. And I already recorded a TikTok of, like, um, whatchamacallit, zero days of um, post-op. Basically, like, just getting out of surgery. So I talked in that, and I'm just like, whoo, talking is hard. There's, like, I was doing great when I first woke up from my nap, but now I'm just a little bit more tense. <laughs> and tight in that area, and I just have to remember to breathe deep breaths. One eternity later. Good morning, it is officially the day that my wraps come off. I washed my hair last night, I feel so much better. My hair was disgusting. I think overall it looks cute, looks a little weird right here, but these are my wrappings. I brought tops in my bag, just a like burgundy bag. I have top in there and like keys, nothing heavy, so it's not like I'm like holding a lot of weight. It looks like it, but it's just the easiest way to carry a t-shirt because I'll put on a t-shirt after they take off my wrappings and get me in that silly surgery bra, but overall, I think it's a cute rainy day outfit and now um, let's rush to my appointment. I'm so happy to get these wrappings finally off. Yeah, they're oh. nasty. It's time, it's time to take the wrappings off. It's time to get this, the wraps off for you to see your tatas. That would be great. Yeah, windowsill works perfectly. All right, <laughs> scooch all the way back. Oh. Started today. Actually, and then arch your back. Oh, Tatas look good. Yeah, like this side. Like yeah, when you did that, no problem. This side, all oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything looks good. So I'm super happy. Mm -hmm. um, you're super swollen through here. So oh, okay. as the swelling comes down, you're going to start to see more cleavage here. They're going to drop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Excellent. Well, yeah, these look amazing okay. already. So, okay, so your pec muscle comes down like this across the top, okay. okay? And that is what needs to loosen up. And so now you're about a week after surgery, and so all we do is monitor the incision. We're gonna clean them. We're gonna put these little pads on there. And those do two things. They're padded, so they're comfy. And they also have antibiotic in them, and so they oh. just help keep the incision clean. Okay. That's so interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you've got 325 Meyer Propal Sientra implants. Oh. Um, they seem smaller than the ones like the sizers. We'll do that all starting next. Yeah. This is all working. Yeah. 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 Going right back to me. So these are those pads. Oh, I remember. Got. Yeah, I yeah. was like wondering. So these are going to act a little bit as little areas between the incision and your bra. So but it's okay. going to kind of hang out. Ooh. 
I am now out of the appointment, ignoring the sound of traffic, but it feels so good to be in an actual shirt and not in the wrappings. Like the stupid like surgery bra, you can see it, but it covers up with this and oh, just feels so good. Mostly because I've been wearing that for like, what, five days now? I think I'm five days post-op. I've been doing updates on TikTok. But either way, I feel so good to be out of those disgusting wrappings because I've been wearing them for a while. Also, it's not like they're comfortable. They're not a shirt. I wasn't trying to pull a shirt over that. I was sometimes like buttoning things over, like swinging things over like this, but it wasn't the same. Like, oh, I feel so much more human and less like I'm in recovery now that that is off. And actually, now that that is off and I'm in that like surgery bra, which the surgery bra like those are like the padding that's not my nipple this is like the padding underneath it so it doesn't hurt your incisions point is the um surgery bra is a lot more comfortable than those wrappings like so much more comfortable now like my left left boob hurts a lot less and oh my outfit is on point he's like asking me about my jacket love my jacket good morning it has been a little bit since i last updated you guys but I'm taking you guys fully along on this appointment because unfortunately I have some unfortunate news because I have some side effects. Well, one side effect and I hate it beyond hate it beyond hate it and from what I've looked online it's very rare and unfortunately I am one of those rare ones that got it and that is da -da -da, stretch marks and I have stretch marks on my left boob on top the camera doesn't do a good job like picking them up and then on the right side it's way worse but it's underneath so let me see if I can show you guys. So the stretch marks are underneath and they are way worse. And I feel like, again, the camera's not picking them up well in this lighting. But maybe I'll show you guys later. But I'll take you guys along on the appointment with me. I want to see what the doctor has to say because it is a rare side effect. And I've heard if you do stuff sooner to help, you know, get rid of the, the stretch marks quicker, it's better. Like the sooner you intervene, the better. But at the same time, I've also heard the fact that there's nothing that can really be done. They'll just fade in a few years when it's specifically comes to getting stretch marks from implants but i'm just gonna see what a professional has to say instead of my google searching online time to gown up and see what he has to say about these stretch marks that i'm so sad about My hair looks cute, so yeah. Oh, there you go, I know I just saw you, but I have stretch marks everywhere. Okay. And I am not happy. So like they're not too bad on this side, but like this side is like all underneath. Oh, I see. Yeah. And it's pretty it's getting worse. Like every day it's getting darker and larger. Yeah, well let's have a seat back here. Let me feel some things. Any pain when I'm pushing? Like it's definitely more sensitive. More sensitive? Okay. Where the stretch marks are. So like yeah, right like here, here and here. There, especially this one's really something. Sure, sure. Stuff. But you don't expect to be like a permanent. It's too early to thing. Know. Too okay. early to know. Okay. Yeah, and for sure it's the most red and inflamed now, right? Because you just came off your cycle, <laughs> right? So I would, and I know how your skin is. I operated on you. Yeah, so I know how it's your very. Tissues react. So very I'm not reactive. surprised of how that it's red like that. I would suspect that over the next week or two when I see you, it's going to calm down and be less red. Okay? Okay. But it may take a little bit of time. Okay? I love that. Yeah. And appointment is done. I am back home, so let's talk about what he said. I don't know, it made me feel slightly better, slightly not, but I don't know. At least it's at the point where it's too early to tell if this is something permanent or if it's something that's going to go away. But hopefully it's something that is going to get less red with time. But that point aside, what we decided on, or he decided on for me based on what's going on, is he wants me to take 800 milligrams, milligrams? I don't know if that's what it's called, of ibuprofen every eight hours until I see him again on Monday. And then he wants me to do cocoa butter massages on them twice a day and warm compresses with 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off. And again, a lot of this has to do with like bringing down the inflammation. And then he wants me to wear a bra all the time during the day and at night. He wants me to talk to my OBGYN to see if maybe my hormones play a part in some of what's going on and kind of just get their opinion because that's not his specialty. 
don't know. I don't have the words to articulate fully how I feel about this or what exactly is going on. We're still in the crapshoot trying to figure it out. Good morning again. I have another follow-up because the last appointment was the one where, you know, he got to see those stretch marks and today is the follow-up to see, I guess, how they're looking and progressing or getting worse or better. I don't even know if they're getting worse or better. All I know is I go between, it's fine, I can live with it, it's not that bad, to the complete other side of it, like I spent nine grand to ruin my body. And yeah, I go between those two and I'm not sure. I can't give my opinions too much on it yet because again, I'm going from one side to the other and that's a pretty drastic difference. But there are certain moments like last night where I'm literally like, you've gotta be kidding me. I spent nine grand to be covered in stretch mark for implants that are five miles apart from each other. But then I go to the other side of like, oh, they look good. So again, oh, I just can't give opinions yet. November, December, January, February, March. It is March 14th, so I'm almost at the five month mark and I think I can finally start to give opinions on how I really feel about the whole process. Like, do I regret doing it? Because I did a video on do I regret doing it. I think I might have done that video a little bit too early. I think I've processed a lot more now and also like I went through the side effects and all of that and I'm still slightly, I guess, going through it but I think I can give my opinions on the pros and cons and talk about like things that I wish I knew before I started this process and some stuff that like maybe it'd be good for you to know if you want to go through this process. So this was my whole entire journey you guys just watched. If you want to watch it more in detail, they are individual vlogs that I did, but I wanted kind of like a wrap up highlight reel of the whole journey. So if you just wanted to watch the quick version, you can, but if you want to watch like the more detailed version of everything that happened, I will link the whole entire series down below and you can watch the whole entire consult phone call, the whole entire consult in person, all that information. And then next week, I am going to be posting a video on either, I'll do an opinions video on the pros and cons, or I'll do like in the style of what I wish I knew. But either way, I'll talk about the whole entire journey um, next week. So please, please, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And I hope you have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you. I'll see you Wednesday.